Hey everyone, Dustin here. Um, super excited about this. This is one of my favorite topics. Um, I was a trainer and I decided to do, I was gonna join Prove It and do community-based marketing. And I kinda wanna tell you how I got here. How did I, how did I get here at the age of uh, 38 when I started with Prove It? Um, how did I get to this point? Why did I realize that it was really time for me to make a shift and I wish I would've done it way earlier in my career? Um, so when I was 30 years old, I was working right here at this facility. Um, and I re woke up one morning and realized that there's no exit plan. I'm stuck. If I'm in the fitness industry, I'm just trading time for money. If I went on a vacation, I was stressed out about money. If I, uh, I was stressed out how much everything cost, I was losing money because my clients weren't seeing me, so they weren't paying me. And then when I would go, I was spending more money than I normally would spend, and I didn't actually enjoy my vacations. I was actually pretty stressed out most of the time. So. Um, a couple of longer story to kind of go back in the day of why this industry was something that's always resonated with me um, and also why I didn't do it until now. Here, this is the answer. When I was 20 years old, I read a little bit of a book. I didn't read the whole thing, but I read most of it. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And um, it kind of started talking about not only network marketing, but it talked about us changing the way we think, you know, about money. And it talked about investment properties. It talked about real estate. There's all these different avenues. So in my, my mind, I always had this plugged into me that I needed to find other ways to create income, residual income in some ways. And so I did, uh, I, you know, I've looked at uh, the stock market and I tried playing with the stock market, which I lost quite a bit of money doing that. Didn't understand it right at all. And now I, I get that I'm gonna have somebody else do that for me. Um, but I looked at real estate. I looked at all these different things, but at the end of the day, I was trading time for money. As a trainer, I have you know, a muscle activation technique certified, biosignature practitioner, PACP coach, uh, strength, you know, I, uh, N uh, National Strength and Conditioning Association, personal trainer, ACSM, a degree in exercise science, specialized in nutrition, specialized in cardiac rehab. I have this laundry list of knowledge on the human body. Nobody ever taught me business, nobody ever taught me residual income, and I was just training time for money. At the age of 30, when I was looking to get serious and get married and settle down, I realized there's no exit plan, I'm stuck. I can't get any more than the time I can commit into it, and all I can do is charge more per hour. And But if I, anytime I went on vacation, I wasn't getting that income. It was really, I, I, I realized fortunately at the age of 30 that I was, that I, I, I didn't take any longer, I didn't wait any longer. I wish I'd known this when I was 30, or sorry, when I was 20, um, I wish I would have took this more serious. So, um, I stumbled into a, a meeting, a network marketing meeting up in Rhode Island. Um, I, I folded my whole practice here. My wife joined the Marine Corps and I left. And I told her, let's go. I need to start over. I can't keep doing time for money and try to get ahead. I love the fitness industry. I love uh, working with people. I love the body work. I love helping people. I want to inspire and change a lot of lives. Number one, I wasn't helping that many people. Number two, I was financially always worrying about the future. Where am I gonna go? How am I gonna get by? How are we have kids? How are we gonna buy a house? I'm worrying about all these things. So my wife and I decided to fold up everything, go, and it forced me to get uncomfortable to start looking for other options. For four years, I was looking for online, doing online training, I was looking at doing online courses. I didn't do well, I struggled with it. Um, it spent lots of money, and I was just, I, I, it wasn't for me. I didn't like it because I wasn't working with people. Just for me, I wanted to be with people still dabbling in the fitness industry, making enough money to get by, having to regenerate more new clients all the time because we kept relocating. And I stumbled into a meeting in Rhode Island. It was a network marketing meeting. Um, and I was blown away. I was like, this is awesome. I wanna do this thing. Uh, until I looked at the products and I realized I would never ever recommend that product to anybody, including my animals. So uh, I didn't join that, that business, but I got interested. I'm like, I remember that book when I was 20. I'm like, ah. I go to home and I told my wife, I go, hey, listen, babe, we gotta do one of these things. We gotta go find a community-based marketing platform and participate in it. So for four years, we were, we were looking, um, trying to find what we could find, just didn't find anything that resonated with us from a culture, from a number one, from a product, from a culture, and from a platform that I felt was going from a leadership. Like, did they have mentors and leaders that I would be willing to follow? And so, lo and behold, four years later, I'm in birthing class and I meet a guy in birthing class we're having children, it's not us, but our wives were. And so we're having our first babies. I meet him in class, and he basically introduces me to prove it. He introduces me to pure therapeutic ketones, which I have mine right there, and which is a product I can align with. It's, it's, it's the, there, let's just be honest. There's nothing in the world that even remotely competes with what we have. It, you can't, it's, it's its own, it's its, it's, its own um, process, it's its, it's its own, Entity there isn't it isn't ketones or excuse me. It isn't protein. It isn't it isn't a supplement those things have value and they can be Situationally be very valuable. This is pure therapeutic ketones something that everybody can take and change their life forever 
Like, and there's no questions around this anymore. This product and the and, and the quality and the and the purity of what Privet has provided is second to none. And, and and there isn't a comparison out there. Not to say there won't be in the future, but there just isn't. So next thing I'm I'm like, okay, I'd like to learn more about this product because I'm I'm kind of a nerd. I want to learn about this stuff. Realizing that that's gonna be my hindrance to growing a big business and creating residual income and helping more people. But we'll get to that later. Michael goes, well, it is community-based marketing. And I go, well, what's that like? He kind of gives some examples. Well, kind of like an Amway or an Herbalife or Isogenics and that kind of model. I'm like, oh, you mean like the pyramid thing? And he goes, yeah, kind of like that, but not really like that. And he goes, it's under the same platform, network marketing. He goes, but community-based marketing is very different. I got a chance to spend a lot of time and got really close with the CEO, Brian Underwood. And he's been teaching me community-based marketing. He goes, he goes, think about this, Dustin. He goes, why would you come out with a product that is as intelligent as ketones, that requires significant research, innovation, and he goes, not only that, he goes, from an educational perspective, he goes, we want the leading thought leaders in the world talking about the power of ketones. I don't want your mom having to learn what ketones are. He goes, as long as she knows how to drink them and feels great and can change her life and she can tell her friends that it helps with mental clarity, focus, mood, maybe sleep, helps with metabolizing body fat or helps you keep, keep you strong and buff and losing muscle mass. He goes, as long as she can say that and then we can have the leading experts talk about how, how ketones can change your life. She goes, he goes, that's awesome. He goes, you're not gonna get that in any health food store. He goes, you can't go to a health food store and get people to get that kind of education. He goes, but us as a community, we can do that. And he goes, we can allow every individual people to be the microphone. And he goes, what makes community-based marketing so different? And he goes, he goes, but I was, because he knew that I was actually looking. He goes, why were you looking for, he goes, network marketing. He goes, why were you looking for it? I go, well, to be honest, he goes, I go, I love what I do. I love my career. I don't want to walk away from what I do. He goes, but I go, but for me to create residual income, I don't want to go and have to start a chain of gyms and be a manager of chains of gyms. I don't want to do online training because it's not, it just doesn't resonate with me. It's, I don't like being behind a computer. It's just not my fun, it's not my sweet spot. And he goes, he goes, so how else, I go, how else can I make financially make an extra five grand a month? That's what I wanted when I started. How do I, how else can I make financially an extra five grand a month? Helping people feel better and being a part of a team of people, a group of people that are on a common mission of helping each other grow. And he, I go, this model is the only model that would work for that. And he goes, I know there's, I go, I know there's people out there making more money than five grand a month. He goes, I know there's people out there that know nothing about health and wellness that make more than five grand a month. And I go, he, I go, I appreciate that. I go, that's awesome. I go, but at the end of the day, I go, that's what I'm looking for. That's just what I want. And um, he goes, great. He goes, let me tell you more about community-based marketing. He goes, we're gonna lead with education. We're gonna work with the top thought leaders and educators in the world. He goes, that way that when our promoters go out and promote, that they're not looking like fools trying to be smart on something that's really intelligent. Why don't we let the real smart people be real intelligent and they just have to invite them to learn from the smart people. He goes, but more importantly, he goes, when you look at a community, he goes, everybody has different talents, temperaments, and uh, convictions. He goes, wouldn't it be cool if we let them play their role? If that person likes to set up events, let them do events to grow their business. If that person likes to do social media, let them do their social media. He goes, too many times people are trying to make them be something that they're not. He goes, Dustin, you love, you're passionate about helping people and you like to be in front of people. Let's get you in front of more people and share your passion for it. And that resonated. Community is about people coming together on a common mission and common goal to help more people you know, move forward, right? Pursue better. And that's really aligned. So my alignment of, of, of what I believe in, in in the world of be the best example of who you are and inspire others to do the same. If you want your kids to live a better life, you want your mom or your dad or your sister, then you, you go do it first and show them through action and shut your trap. Because I used to talk a lot and now I just do a lot. And, and this is what Prove It's Mission is too. So not only did I find that community-based marketing was the right platform for me and numerous other trainers or fitness professionals that are Right now, I was just on a call with a guy, he's 23 years old, and he's, he has no, he can't even invest in anything. He can barely travel, because he doesn't have the money or the resources, because he's trading so much time for money, he can't get ahead. And I'm like, what is your alternative when you're 30 or 40 or 45? Like, how's it gonna get any better? And he goes, I don't know. And so I go, you really should look at and understand this platform and concept, because it's probably the best shot you got of creating some residual income while you maintain your career. You don't have to do what I did and switch off your, current career, which I loved to do this full time, I just realized that this was a better platform for me to make more, help more people and financially provide my, more for my family and give me more freedom so that I can work from anywhere. So right now in this, 
facility. There's a gym there. There's a boxing gym there. There's a ballet studio there. There's a, a, a performance institute right there. There's a gym here. There's actually two gyms here. Um, and then, hey, Hope. And then there's a gymnastic studio right there, right? All these people are trading their time for money, which is fine. I, I, I'm okay. Almost all the same people are here doing the same thing when I left when I was 30. However many years ago that was. A lot of years. 10, 10 plus years. So they're still doing the same thing and I'm now able to travel the world with my kids, have some more time and freedom. So that was an easy decision for me. Not, not for them. Some of them don't want to go do what I did. That's okay. But why wouldn't you want a small part of that? Why wouldn't you want to make an extra $1,000 or $2,000 or $5,000 a month creating a team and a community around people that are, are making a difference in, in a lot of people's lives and creating a financial ripple effect for yourself and maybe giving yourself the opportunity if you ever get injured and you can't do this job anymore, at least you have something to fall back on. And so why I am so, so passionate about this industry is that I understand it now. Being part of it and, and looking at it from a business perspective, also as an educational perspective, also as a team perspective, it makes no sense why you wouldn't do this, either for a plan B or a plan A. It wouldn't make any sense. Only advice I would give to any of you all that are considering to join, prove it, uh, or any community-based platform is treat it as what it is, treat it as a business. If you take it as a hobby and you don't, you don't have consistency, you're probably not gonna get the results and you might say those things don't work. They freaking work. I'm just telling you, it works. It comes down to your effort that you put into it. Adam, the gentleman that I was speaking to earlier, craziest thing ever happened is he's, he goes, I'm too busy to talk to you, Dustin. I'm literally offering him an opportunity to create a financial ripple effect and help more people in his life. And he, doesn't, he didn't know that because the guy that introduced him to me didn't tell him anything. And I'm sitting there thinking like, I'm going out of my way to drive down and meet you. And you're not even gonna take 20 minutes to come meet me to give you this huge opportunity to potentially be part of because you're too busy trying to just keep afloat. And it made me realize, it wasn't Adam's fault, but it made me realize that we need to get this message out to more trainers that there are people that care. Like I care a lot about this industry, the fitness industry. And more importantly, I care a lot about people getting better and I'm watching trainers wear themselves out and at the age of 40, 45, 35, whatever it is, realizing that they're trading time for money, there's no retirement, there's no financial freedom later in their lives, they don't have that much time. If they wanna have kids, they wanna buy a house, they're stuck and they're not getting there. And that just kinda wears me out, it kinda gets me gets me kind of frustrated because I was there, I was very fortunate to seek and get out of there, um, even though I still love the industry. But I, we're just not, business isn't taught in fitness, it just isn't. It's not taught in massage therapy, it's not taught, taught very well. Chiropractic is probably the best, but not great. Uh, acupuncture, any body worker, it's not taught. And these people pour into their clients and they're not getting the return out of it that they really should deserve for the effort they're putting in. Same thing with nurses, teachers, it's the same thing. And so this platform gives you the opportunity to help more people, to be part of a team that is gonna support you in your goals and dreams, and give you the ability to financially create some residual income. Residual income is not easy to come by, by the way. To be able to do that with a low overhead and invest a small amount of money, I, I was, my investment to get into Prove It is very, 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 very low. To have a huge residual income, relatively, that's amazing, you can't do that. If you wanna start one of these gyms, you're, you got 100, 200 grand in the hole just to get started. And likelihood, it's gonna take you five years to pay it off and you're not gonna make much money through that process anyway. It's, it's mind blowing to me that people would rather choose that than what we're doing. Now, you can choose both. And if you do it right, you can use our platform to actually drive more clients inside your gym to give you more people to, to work with, which is even better. So I can ramble all day, all day long. Um, I just wanted to do this because I was here, it got in, my, in me, so I wanted to say it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, reach back to me. I'll answer you guys. I'll let you know. Any questions at all, let me know and I'd love to help you. If you're in the health and fitness space and you're looking for more, you're looking to help more people, looking for financial aid to get more money in whatever it is, come. Come, just come participate in what we're doing and just play full out and create consistency and you can have great success. Bye everyone.